with another episode of Sleepy Sarah. Today on the show, we're going to make a chicken noodle casserole. So in here, let me turn off the, no, it's too dark. We have got a little bit of chicken broth. Um, when I poached and boiled and cooked my chicken, a um, couple big chicken breasts. Till it's done, took them out, shredded it, and I cooked it in water so it, you know it made its own little bit of chicken broth. So there's about two cups of the broth in here, and then I didn't have any frozen carrots, so I used some carrots and chopped them up, and then just cooked them a little bit to almost tender, not quite. Because we're going to finish this cooking in the oven. Um, in the broth. And I put an onion up in there. So, we're just going to dump everything in. In goes our chicken. <coughs> we have our carrots and onions. We're going to put some peas. Usually I have a mac bag mixed of, of some veggies. So it would be like peas, carrots, corn, and green beans. But all I had was peas in the freezer. So that's fine. And then I just chopped that carrot up. So we'll just have peas and carrots in it. But you could use any kind of vegetables you want. You want broccoli up in here, whatever. One large can of cream of chicken soup. Let's put that in here. stir this for a minute and then we're going to put our noodles in. Now I've already boiled my noodles to almost tender. They're a little bit al dente because you know we're going to finish this in the oven. So I ain't going to put no salt because the, the I put a little bit of salt in my chicken cooking and the cream is super salty. So, uh, um, onion powder, garlic powder. And then a little bit of pepper. But you use any kind of seasonings you want. Drained them real good. Pull them to, to they're almost tender. Now we're just going to fold all this in. If you want to put celery up in your can, whatever you want. It's a 13 by 9. I'm going to put all this in here. Sorry about the scraping. By the pan. Spread it out. And then we're going to put a little topping on there. You want to put cheese? You can. I'm doing crushed up buttery crackers. You know, like, like grits, but they're the off brand. This is 
about a sleeve and a half. You can put as much as you want though. Okay, now we're going to pour over a half a stick of melted butter. We're just going to slowly drizzle. And then this goes in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 25 minutes. Everything's already cooked through. <clears throat> we're basically just warming everything up, back up. Finished cooking our pasta and our other veggies. We'll run our peas up because they were frozen. To probably brown the top of our casserole. It'll get good and browned. So let's come back with video two. So it's going to pop in the oven for about, I don't know, 25, maybe 30 minutes. See you in video two.